Both guys extremely experienced. The question is, Takoro, is he experienced or worn down after that many fights? We'll have to see. Fight. Round number one, and a flying start from Hideo Tokoro. That is Japanese MMA, that's Takoro style. Starting out like Kawuno, who's known for that attack. Flying jump kick. Jimmy, you just hit on it. Tokoro said it a lot. I bring Tokoro style. All action, all attack, all aggression, all unpredictability. But a big right hand by L.C. Davis on the inside. The problem a lot of Japanese fighters have had in the States is big, physical, strong American fighters. That's what he's facing tonight. Hideo Tokoro in the blue gloves, red gloves for L.C. Davis. He's gotta respect the power of L.C. Davis. Davis set his goal strategically, use his wrestling defensively, keep it standing, and ultimately dictate the fight with what he believes will be a superior striker. But also, not to get sucked into the flash of Tokoro style. Don't become a spectator. Don't stand there and watch your opponent react and hurt him. That's what he's doing so far. Right hand on the inside from Tokoro. Davis walks right through it. Both fighters trading, both fighters swinging. Orthodox styles in combat sports. Guys like Pernell Whitaker, grapplers like Jeff Glover. You start watching what they're doing rather than reacting to what they're doing and taking advantage. L.C. Davis cannot let that happen. Or to the inside, landed the elbow. This is exactly the implementation of defensive wrestling that Davis was talking to us about. I was impressed with that level change takedown by Takora earlier. It shows L.C. Davis that that's in his back pocket. If he gets too aggressive, he can get taken down himself. Flying for the leg lock. Roll for the heel hook, could not get it. We thought this would be a fun fight. This is a really fun fight. Knee to slip Davis right back to his feet. Really glad I'm not a judge tonight. <laughs> I give a scorecard. I give a scorecard, but it doesn't cost anybody a win. These rounds very hard to score. It just hurts people's feelings on Twitter. That's oh all yeah, you have no idea. Jason Herzog asked Davis if he was okay. Davis said, "Let's fight on." They have raised the cup. Davis not concerned, now lands the left hand. Look at the eye contact of Tokoro, Jimmy. Stone cold, always focused. He's had trouble, he's overreacted a little bit. He's been caught off balance, I'd say, by the power shots of L.C. Davis. He's knocked off balance by a few of his punches. Final minute, round number one of this bantamweight fight. Another good left hand by L.C. Davis. One thing about Tokoro is keeping his chin very high. Not really in a defensive stance when it comes to his chin and his posture. Hand from Davis. Constant hand movement. Constant shuffling of their feet from Hideo Tokoro. Davis now starting to settle into a rhythm. As I say that, dropped and dropped again. Almost too much of a rhythm for L.C. Davis. Now the level change and he hits the takedown. Might have been a little bit of a desperation takedown. 
but he got it right when he needed it. Fast and furious round number one, final seconds. This is a really good fight. This is the 62nd pro MMA fight for that man, Hideo Tokoro. Holds a win in his prolific career over Hoyler Gracie. Fought Hoist Gracie to a draw. Obviously, when weight classes still weren't a big thing in our sport. Jimmy, your scorecard, round number one. I went 10-9, LC Davis. I thought he was more efficient. Landing with the left hand, but the flash belonged to Hideo Tokoro, so that round could have gone either way. I thought Elsie Davis was a little bit more effective with his strikes. Tokoro did get that knockdown, though, but I'm going 10 9 Elsie Davis. He's trying to get through with the left hand. And that southpaw stance. Two from Davis, but good elusive head movement again from Hideo Tokoro. Step in right hand from Tokoro. Tokoro has had bursts of offense. He needs to set some consistency. We gotta find, we gotta see what he does with combinations, whether, whether or not he can get his attack going throughout a round. We've seen flashes of attack. He has to get his consistency up there. Last round, LC Davis threw twice as many punches as Tokoro. Superman Sorry, twice punch. as many strikes. Then the kick from Davis, nothing there now, lands that low kick. Tokoro did say that he wanted to draw LC Davis into a brawl, but that's just not Davis' style. It's not really his style. Right now, it's Davis throwing more and being, I think, a little more accurate with his strikes. When he's landing, he's landing clean. It was a feint on the jump knee, and the right hand counter by Davis puts Tokoro in trouble. Tokoro now looking for the leg lock, defensively to offense. Going for the sweet inverted heel hook. This is a dangerous submission, Sean. Davis pulling his right leg free. Both fighters back to their feet. This fight is living up to the billing, and then some, Jimmy. And I love what I'm seeing from Tokoro. He's going crazy with the submission attacks, but LC Davis showed what showed what happens when you get reckless against him. Left for that flying knee and hit a counter right hand over the top. Inside knee from Tokoro. See the body lock from Hideo Tokoro. Another good right hand over the top by L.C. Davis. Started with the body attack, ended with the hook over the top, right to the chin. Oh, nice elbow. Good Muay Thai elbow indeed from L.C. Davis on the inside. He's found the vulnerable side of Hideo Tokoro, and it's been that right side, that lead hand over the top. He's thrown the punch and the elbow, both of them over the top on the right-hand side. Davis starting to work the foot stomps there as well again. to take Tokoro off balance and land strikes like that. Right hands, right elbows. Herzog telling Davis, get your fingers out of the chain link fence. This is the battle Tokoro did not want. It's about strength and size and brute power because LC Davis has the advantage there. You can palm the fence, you can't legally grasp the links. That's what Herzog was warning Davis about. Now Tokoro with the waist cinch, standing and one hook in. Nice. Davis letting go with the right hands. High volume fight from both men. Rolling for the inverted heel hook. Tokoro going hard. What a finish this would be, going back to it. 
Davis sensing real submission danger, scrambles back to his feet. Yeah, this is what I love about Japanese MMA. He went for it. L.C. Davis, though, excellent submission defense back to his feet. Same move that Rio Chonin caught Anderson Silva with, but L.C. Davis would not have it. The frenzied pace continues, outstanding through 10 minutes. Look at the right hand off the jump knee by Takoro, and then against the fence, elbow right to the chin, hooks over the top. And beautiful stuff from both fighters. Mercedes Terrell and Summer Daniels, our Bellator girls, letting us know that Come round on, three is upon us. Scorecard, Jimmy. <laughs> Another 10-9 for L.C. Davis. I thought he did more damage, but Takoro, once again, he had the flash. But I feel the substance was L.C. Davis 10-9. Now look, both these guys are bringing it tonight. Oh, good right hand by Takoro. Stepped in and landed the right hand, trying to take the back. Davis showed the back, took it away. Both fighters have been dropped. Both fighters have been in danger in this fight. For those standing of, tempo. For those of you that are used to a Brazilian style of submission, it's position before submission. With the Japanese, a lot of times, step over, go for something wild from anywhere. Do not blink when they are on the ground. L.C. Davis has to be very careful. Looking for the arm bar now. The step over. Davis desperately trying to defend. Tokoro going for the finish, trying to extend the arm. Davis shanks his arm free, then eats the up kick. Now he's calling that an illegal up kick. Time. Time called by Herzog. I'd like to get another look at that. He might have been going down. Okay, you can't do that. Right here, please. Fighter, hey, right over here, you need time. Right over here, please. Let's take a look at it. All right, I just warned him right now. You're in transition. I disagree. He was dropping to I'm a knee you, as I'm he was hit. A little bit of time here. I think he was. Do you need the doctor to come talk to you at all? Huh? His knee had not touched the canvas. And oh. another thing you have to know at home, if I throw it and then your knee hits the canvas, that is your problem. That was a legal knee. Kick, okay? Completely right. legal. I was down, right? No, no. You were going down and you touched as you threw the kick, okay? So if you can't continue, are you able to? All right. <sighs> I'm disagreeing with Jason on that one. He's a great referee, and that was a quick position. It's hard to see, but that was a legal knee. Herzog asked Davis, do you want to continue? Davis said, yes, absolutely, we fight on. Difficult position for Jason Herzog. Davis clears his head after the brief timeout. This outstanding fight resumes. Remember, guys, we get replay. Referees have to call it as it happens. It's tough to do in a fight that is, that is this fast. It's always easy with the replay, Sean. Oh, great head kick! Takoro is thrown for the fences in the third round. Davis to the body lock, Tokoro to the body lock as well. What's important to keep in mind is a point was not deducted. He separated him, warned him, but that he did not take a point. It will not affect the scoring. These are the kind of fights I live for. Takoro fighting like he believes he lost those first two rounds, Sean. This is spectacular. Thankfully, L.C. Davis could continue. We don't want to see a majority or a, rather a technical decision in this situation. We fight on. Takoro looked for the armbar. What did you say, Jimmy? Submission before position just like that. Yep. Davis now trying to take the back of Hideo Tokoro. Look at the scrambling ability, the agility of both fighters back to their feet. Both of these men clearly eyeing a world title shot. Davis now stacking Tokoro. Tokoro looking for the armbar. Second time he's got Davis in this position. First time Davis yanked his arm free. Doesn't like, look like Tokoro's in great position to finish this. 
And he will not. Good defense by Davis. He stacked Tokoro rather than trying to raise up and extend, hyper extend his own elbow. The idea that they are still fighting this hard at this pace. LC Davis went for the guillotine, but didn't have his hips in the proper position. Tokoro now trying to take the back of Davis. They're trading submission attempts. This is one of the best fights that I've commentated as well as seen in a number of years. Outstanding pace. Fighters down to knock me in the head. I don't care who wins this. We have to see these fighters again, period. The loser, I want to see him again. Swelling now under the left eye of Hideo Tokoro. Davis looking for the single leg, he hits it. Tokoro looking for a Kamara sweep. Right into full mount. He's in great position to finish this. You see he has his arms figure four. Going hard for the Kamara Hideo Tokoro to finish. Davis pops his left arm free. And this crowd is on its feet as they should be. Great stuff by LC Davis. Incredible aggression by Hideo Tokoro. Trading positions, trading submissions. Hideo Tokoro, LC Davis. Final seconds now. Davis holding the guillotine position. Looking for a last second finish. Full crank from Davis, the bell. The end of a fantastic fight. This whole fight was a highlight. Started the beginning with the jump kick by Tokoro. Flash throughout by Tokoro. Creativity, just like he talked about, but LC Davis, power, accuracy, explosiveness. Tokoro coming back with submission attempts. LC Davis on defense in that third round, but in round number two, he had Tokoro rocked against the fence. Great action on the ground, on the feet. Neither guy quitting, great guts in that third round by L.C. Davis. Got a little break on the up kick. Then he finished the fight looking for the guillotine. It's the kind of fight I love seeing. Copia strike brings us total strikes landed. Takoro 37 out of 92. L.C. Davis 61 out of 142 strikes. Jimmy, you and I are hardcore fans of old school Japanese MMA. That was a throwback. Who's your winner? 29-28, LC Davis. Hideo Tokoro takes round number three. Let's end all suspense. Here's Michael Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone the distance inside the Bellator cage, we'll go to your three cage side judges. Your first judge, Steve Armstrong, scores the fight 29-28. to 28. He sees it for Tokoro. Your second judge, David Sutherland, scores the fight 29 to 28. He sees the fight for Davis. Your third and final judge, Dan Matheson, scores the fight 29 to 28 for the winner by split decision, Elsie.